All right, we are ready for a little bit of a hike today. Uh, actually, a short hike. Let's do that. Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to Citanium Mine. On this episode, we're going to be talking about a, a little indie game called A Short Hike. Yeah, it's a game where you play an anthropomorphic bird named Claire, and Claire is uh, going up a mountain. Going up a mountain and uh, exploring this mountain in what is, I guess, what you would consider a chill game. Like, you can't die or anything in this game. But the idea is to be able to just traverse this mountain and the various areas that are on it. And eventually, your end goal is to make it to the summit. But of course, it's never quite that easy. Uh, the idea is that you need to discover these golden feathers. Uh, golden feathers allow you to flap your wings and get higher, or allow you to climb for a limited amount of time before you have to rest. The basic goal of this is to collect your feathers. Of course, you also get some little mini-games that you can do along the way, like you can do some fishing, and you can trade that in for money, and uh, a few other little activities that you can do uh, along the course of time. You can dig, and you can uh, mine for some stuff, you know, there's, there's little activities that you do along the way, but it's mostly uh, in that regard to unlock different pieces of equipment that might make you a little bit faster, make you climb a little bit faster, uh, or that are just decorative. There's a lot of, like, hats and stuff that you can wear that are just stuff you can wear that's fun. That's it. There's also some races that you can do if you want to play around with that. You also get a speedboat at one point, which I think is pretty great. And then you break the speedboat, and you have to repair the speedboat. Anyway, the point of the matter is, is that it's, it's a cute game where the general idea is to be able to explore. It is an exploration game, which has some cozy game elements, but it's mostly about the idea of being able to uh, explore this very nice pixelated world that they have created for you. And overall, I think it works very well. It is engaging, the characters are cute, uh, and trying to uncover one golden feather that allows you to access maybe another golden feather somewhere else on the mountain, and trying to figure out how you might reach this one specific area is a lot of fun. They they try to make it fun throughout the course of the game. They even have some like upward air pockets uh, that you can utilize if you want to go up really high, uh, and then, of course, you can glide down. One of the most interesting things that I found about the game is that when I eventually did reach the peak, uh, there is a, like an air current that you can take up so that you can go even higher. And when you get to the peak there, you can just simply glide and continue to glide all the way around the mountain on a nice lazy path all the way to the bottom. It's actually quite relaxing. The music swells and kind of creates a soundscape while you are doing that. And I, I have to say that the general atmosphere of the world that they created with a short hike is probably its best feature. I can't tell you that it's very long. Uh, it is actually incredibly short. I think that you could probably do the entire thing. Like, you could you could beat the game in probably a couple hours. If you wanted to go and do everything else in the game, I, I can't imagine that it would take you more than, like, five to do every single possible thing that you could do in the game. But I don't mind short games. I think that short games are perfectly fine if they provide a good experience. And I think a short hike does that. Uh, really well. Once you get to the top and you kind of see a, a scene about, you know, having succeeded in your goal, you can go back to your camp, you can uh, talk to some of the people that are there, and you can turn in for the night, at which point the game effectively ends. But it doesn't mean that you can't go back to the peak, uh, Hawk Peak, as often as you want. If there's one thing that I would critique the game on. I think it's that sometimes the camera does not do what you want it to do. Uh, there was a dynamic camera that they used. It was actually a Unity tool, so we'll see how that goes for the developers. 
these days, but uh, called Cinemachine. And I have to say that while I understand, like, if you're around this mountain, this one peak that's out in the middle of the ocean, essentially, it would make sense to try and keep that camera just panning around and make sure that you're on there. But if you start to get toward the edges, or if you kind of, like, go behind one little mountainous area and through the camera has a tendency to not really be exactly where you want it to be like you you, your character will go out of sight behind things and if you're trying to dig in certain areas or trying to do activities or search different areas this becomes very tricky your ability to uh, control the camera on your own is a little bit limited because of that system and so i don't know if that was necessarily the best way to handle it, but overall, that's a minor nitpick, right? Uh, you know, being able to go on these little treasure hunts that they give you, uh, and doing the fishing and, uh, what is it, beach stick ball, little, little activities like that, collecting shells for some of the characters, and, and, and going around on your speedboat, are just fun little activities that you get to do in a, in a little chill game where you don't have to worry too much about, you know, doing things wrong. There is no such thing as doing things wrong, really, in this game. And I have to say that I found it very relaxing having been playing a lot of big epic games of late to be able to take a a little bit of a breather with this, this light and very airy, literally, game that they created with a short hike. I also thought that it was very cute that the reason Claire wants to get to the top of the mountain is so that she can get cell reception. So she can call home. That I I thought that was cute. Um, Hawk Peak does not have good cell reception. If you're looking for an alternative to this i uh i'm trying to think what i would actually suggest maybe um east shade i think that that might be east shade is sort of like an open world game where you're an artist uh and all of the inhabitants of the world are like anthropomorphic animals and you're sort of on this far-flung island where you are tasked with uh, you know making paintings out of specific areas for your mother um, because she can't go there anymore. And there's no death to, in similar fashion to a short hike. There's more meat on the bones in that game, though. There's a lot of different, like, sub-quests and stuff that you can take with the different inhabitants. And it is more or less done as, a, almost like, it's like an Elder Scrolls game, but there's no combat or anything like that. Uh, it, it's, if, if the thing that you mainly did was paint, that's East Shade in a nutshell, uh, and being able to explore different areas, get the equipment that you need in order to do that, like, you have to get, like, thermal gear so that you can stay out late at night as, after a certain time, otherwise you get too cold and you wake up back in town. Uh, so there's, there's some stuff like that to explore. I thought that it was a very interesting game. I can't say that I finished it. Uh, because there are a few stumbling blocks in terms of, like, uh, the order of operation you need in order to get to different areas or to some of the, the islands that are off the coast. But uh, overall, a very interesting game if you like something that's a little bit more chill. All right, well, I am going to see if there is an underground vent here somewhere so that I can go and uh, fly around. Uh, I do not have wings, but... Um, I found this old Leonardo da Vinci device. Uh, I think it's an ornithopter, and I'm going to try that out. Uh, I don't know how you're getting out of here, uh, but I'm going to go see if I can't get myself some artificial wings. Make this happen. Um, no, no. No, no, the glue came off. Some of the some some of the feathers are coming off. Maybe I'm not. Can I hitch a ride with you? Oh, okay, so you're, all right.